Avelumab is a PD ligand inhibitor. Uh, there are two FDA approved PD1 inhibitors and melanoma, uh, and that targets the receptor on T cells. This is its ligand uh, that is targeted by Avelumab. And uh, this is the first and largest study that's been done in ovarian cancer with these type of immune therapies to date. Uh, the study began in November 2013 and enrolled 75 patients into this ovarian cohort, uh, uh, ovarian cohort uh, up through November of 2014. Um, from a tolerability standpoint, the PD ligand inhibitors are overall very similar to what's been seen with the PD-1 inhibitors that uh, the majority of patients do great. There are a few patients probably in the 10 to 20 percent of range that have side effects uh, that are autoimmune related uh, and those can be anywhere from diarrhea, nausea, or skin rashes, uh, but usually it's manageable. There are also a few patients that have infusion related, related reactions but they're often uh, tolerated with uh, antihistamines like Benadryl. Uh, so from a tolerability standpoint, the vast majority of patients actually do really well and, and don't feel like they're getting standard chemotherapy. Uh, when we looked at uh, this specific ovarian uh, population, the protocol was uh, designed so that after the first 23 patients made it through, after 23 patients made it through two months, they could look at uh, the data and, and we did see responses in ovarian cancer. Uh, and this is exciting because melanoma and kidney cancer have always thought to have been immunogenic cancers uh, and that would respond to immune therapies and ovarian has been uh, much more questionable in that area. So it was unclear if we would have benefit and we definitely had uh, responses that were confirmed and uh, that and patients did well. We also had some of the what would be considered atypical responses where the tumor looked like it was progressing and then all of a sudden started to respond. Uh, so that, that was unique. And then if we uh, went ahead and, and looked at the how many patients remained on study or were progression free at six months, it was 33%. So about a third of patients were able to stay on study uh, for six months and were still getting benefit at the time. So you know, overall I think this is an exciting, uh, a, a, another well-tolerated immune therapy and helping a new, a new patient population.